one of my goals for 2023 down in Arizona was to have some hydroponics. So my first setup is here. I'm going to show you unboxing it, how to put it together, how it works, and what I'm going to plant in there. This is Sandy at Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. And let's grow vegetables 365 days a year. So it comes with this great box. <laughs> it makes you want to grow plants. And this is called a hydroponics growing system QYO36. And in the description, I will put a link. I bought it on Amazon. And I picked this one not only because it's a growing system, but I also wanted to be able to have an app that I can control and do things with it on my phone. And there's the QR code, code for that. And it does tell you all about the nutrients. There's two different kind of nutrients that you use. And as we go through the system, I'll talk about that. So let's open our box first. And it comes, those are some little stickers. And it actually, they actually have a hole in the center. I think the plant could actually grow through there, but I'm not going to use those. I think that's a waste of, I don't know, space, time, money. But that's okay. So let's take everything out of the box. Now this is the lid, the top where the lights are. And you have to pull off this cover that just protects the light. So that's the top. And then we're going to turn it over and that's the lighting system. Now this is the base and it has the power um, plants, if you're going to do vegetables or um, flowers, everything is inside there right now. So I'm going to have to take off the top and this system actually can have 15 different plants in it. Do you have to use them all at one time? You don't. But let me take that tape off and I'll show you everything that you get inside. So I'm lifting that out and everything is pre-bagged so that you know exactly what it is. And in the manual, it tells you what each part is. Now this is a soils and it is in a cone shape because these net cups, unlike my other hydroponics back in Wyoming, they're very thin and narrow and it makes it so I can have more plants in a limited space. Now, other things in there, there's two different types of plant food nu nutrients for it. Um, it's granule and tablets, and you have to add water, shake it up so that it dissolves. Um, there's the power source that you would plug in. This is a little device that tells you how much water is in your system at any given time. But my app will tell me that also. There's plant stakes and there's markers that you can use or not use. That's totally up to you, but they're both made out of plastic. Then we have um, some little caps. So say you're only gonna do three or five or 10 plants, those caps cover. And this is the little rod that is adjustable so that you can adjust how the height of the, the lights are based to the, the bottom of the plant. Now that's our reservoir. It has a pump in there and that cable comes out of the reservoir and I'll show you where you plug that in in just a little bit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to push that cap down on that pump securely. And the hydroponic system tells you step by step on what it wants you to do. It gives you all the parts. It gives you what it thinks you should do in the order in which you're supposed to do it. And so we've unpackaged everything. And the first thing that we're going to do is use that rod. Now it has some little rubber um, caps that protected it while it was in shipping. So I took those off and you can see where it plugs in, not only at the base, but also with the lights so that it can plug in quickly and it only plugs in one direction so that you're not putting it in incorrectly. And so I'm going to show you where those are going to get plugged in and we're going to do the top first where the lights are because that is the easiest way to do it. So we are going to take that top. You can see the lights right now. I'm going to take that plastic protective film off. It's just um, a thin plastic but it just protected it. And so I'm going to take it and there's only one way to put it in. There's a um, it's rectangle but there's a little notch in there so that you know that you're putting it in the correct direction so that it will work the way you want it to. And all it does is just get pushed in there. So it just kind of clicks in there and you know, it's secure. Now on the back side, it has that same thing and it has an arrow right where that little notch is so that you will put it correctly and see it has an arrow on the bar too, so that you can match it up and you know, you haven't done anything wrong. 
because you want it to work perfectly. So I just have it put together. It's still in my art room. I haven't even taken it out into the kitchen to get the water yet. But you can see all the different parts. And I'm going to first put in the little device that will tell me how much water. So you put that in and then it has a clear cap that goes over top of it. And that pops right in there. And then you can see the water level. It'll have the minimum water level, the maximum, and that floats up. So that little yellow rod will float up and tell you how much water you have in the system. Now this is the back. This is where that cable came out that is attached to the pump. And on the back side, that's where you're gonna plug everything in. So down at that base, we um, will um, just, it has which part to go in which part. So this is the pump and this is the power. And it tells you, so you're putting it in the correct way. And it's like any cable, you are just gonna press that in there, make sure that it clicks and that works perfect. We can also press in the power, even though we're not gonna put it, um, plug it in yet to the wall, but it can, gives you the idea of where everything is supposed to go. You can adjust the rod by holding the base and then pulling up with the top part and it can go up or down. I'm going to have it at the lowest position when we very first start. This is where you're going to put your water in. You're going to dump it in that reservoir and it shows you a maximum. It doesn't want you to go above that level. And one of the things to remember, you should use water that isn't from a well and it really shouldn't have any chlorine in it, if that's at all possible. You can let your tap water sit for a day and the chlorine will evaporate out. These are some little caps that can go on top to make it like a little greenhouse. It'll help with the germination. And as you can see, you can put as many or as few in there. If you're not gonna put a net cup in, you put those little caps on there. And so that none of your water is evaporating through that or anything is getting into the water that might clog the pump and I'm actually going to use all of them just because I just want to see the rate and growth of different plants because it's my first time of using this system. But see how those caps can go on and off. The little domes go on and off. But we do have to put some soil in there. And so this is the soil. Um, it's very soft, pliable. It has a hole right in the center of the top. So let's move the camera. See that hole in there? And you're gonna put in, I usually put in my hydroponics, two seeds. Now in the book, it actually recommends that you put four or five seeds in there. But for the type of plants I'm actually gonna grow, two will be fine. I'll pick the strongest plant and I will cut the other one off so that there's actually eventually only being one plant coming out of each of those cells. And it just drops in just like, it has a hole just like if you were using rock wool in a hydroponic system and you don't have to cover it up. You just drop the seeds in there. And by the time you put the seeds in, this will have expanded because of the water. So you can see I have everything in there. Um, the domes just go on and off very easily. And we're ready to put some water in there. And remember that where that has that control and where it tells you how many how much water you have in there you don't actually have to use that because if you're using the app and the system actually makes you use the app if you want it to have the the lights run things like that if you don't want to use an app you need to use a different system but remember i'll have the description below and i'll give you a sample of something that's not using a wi-fi I just happened to want it. I wanted to be able to see how it was doing when I wasn't in the house. So um, I'm excited about using it. I'm going to use a few different plants. Now these are the rods that come with it. And on the base you can see there's holes every so often. You don't have to have those in right now. But as the plants grow bigger, say you're growing peppers or tomatoes, it will help balance them from the weight of the plants. And so that's just what it is to help. Now it also comes with some plant markers that you can slide in there so that you know what plants you have for a while. I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna just use them, use a chart. So I've moved it out into the kitchen and I'm gonna add some water to it. Um, I don't want the water hot and I don't want the water cold. So it's just room temperature 
and I'm going to pour that in there. You need to put at least a liter in there. I'm actually going to fill it all the way to the top, but you wouldn't necessarily have to have it all the way to the, t the top. Um, but that's totally up to you. Now, if your little yellow bar does not start to pop up, what I found on mine, it was kind of stuck a little bit. So all I had to do was just tap it a little bit and then it popped up the way it was supposed to. And I put the soil in there and what happens because it's dry at first, it has to absorb the water. They recommend that you let them soak for 12 hours before you actually put the seeds in there. See how my bar has popped up? I just tapped it and then it popped up um, for the water level. Again, this is the nutrients. There's two different kinds. You use both of them. So for every liter of water you put in, you're going to use five milliliters of the solution. Now I have about four liters in there. So I have to put a little bit more. You just multiply it by the amount of liters you have. And they're starting to soak up. They're getting a little tighter in that area. I put the caps in there so that they would really just... Um, their magic and expand. So this is what the the panel looks like. You can have it in Celsius, you can have it in Fahrenheit. You can do the amount of days. I'm going to make it do the amount of days by itself. So it's going to tell me the plants have been growing for five days, for 10 days. Um, you can change, you can turn the pump off by pressing the pump. You can change from vegetables to flower by pressing that button. But you do need to set it up with your Wi-Fi and they have um, a pamphlet that comes in the box and depending on your phone you have to go through a process and you're just really downloading the app and going through the steps to make it um, work so that you can control it on your Wi-Fi on your phone so yeah I made it go up to 99 days I'll go I'll take it back to zero <laughs> I'm just playing with the buttons right now and um, it it's really pretty simple power what type of plant if you want the pump on and off, the pump will automatically run every 30 minutes. The light runs for 16 hours automatically. You cannot change the amount of light there is. And so if you started the system at seven o'clock in the morning, it's gonna run for 16 hours and then the lights are gonna turn off for the other eight hours. Then it's gonna turn back on. If you needed the pump to be off for some reason, you press that pump button it'll turn itself off if you um, needed to change different things it shows you as you go step by step not only in the booklet but also on your app to help it so let's turn the lights on so here it is sitting on the, the counter it's a crazy blue purplish light <laughs> <laughs> I got water all in there. Um, you can see the water move a little bit. The pump is circulating. It's very quiet. And those cells are starting to expand even more. And there you can see the lights. It's like stars. It's a crazy fun color. And I'm actually going to take the, the water level out because I'm going to use it. Um, I want to put another cell in there. And so I put it over in my living room and... These are the plants, the seeds that I'm going to use. I'm going to do some toothache plants, some two different small tomato plants, and some lettuce. You can use whatever you want. You can grow flowers, you can grow vegetables, you can grow herbs. And you see I took that little part out and I'm putting two seeds in each one. I love that light. It's just like crazy. And then I put a cap back on so I know that I've done it right. So I'm putting the tomatoes on both ends because those will be my largest plants even though these are small tomato plants and I am going to prune them so that they say a certain height and then I'm just going to let that sit things will germinate anywhere from one day to seven days now you may have some exceptions but that's basically the, the rule of thumb really the only trouble I had was actually connecting my phone to the wi-fi of the plant stand and all I had to do was switch and have my um, link not the 5G, just the regular um, Wi-Fi. And then it just connected right away. It had just something to do with the 5G and it just didn't like that. But I'll show you updates as it goes. Most seeds 
in in that system should germinate anywhere from one day to seven days. Now you can always have, depending on what you're germinating, it could take you longer. But it'll be interesting to watch it grow and how I can extend the light so that it can, the plants can get larger and larger. As always, like, subscribe, share with the world. I will see you next time and every single day for the entire year of 2023. I'm doing 365 days of friendship. Hopefully it'll remind you just how important those friends are. See you next time.